It's back to international action today with the Nations League, as we take Andorra to the dizzying heights of Division C for the first time. Our opponents? Armenia. Hello there everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to yet another episode of Andorra Andorra, the double challenge in which I take charge of the club FC Andorra and the country Andorra and try to lead them both along the road to glory. Well, last time you were with the national side, we suffered that disappointment in the European Championship playoffs, heavy defeat to North Macedonia. We bounced back a little bit, organised ourselves a couple of uh, straightforward friendlies. We got a 2-0 win over Luxembourg in June, followed up by a tough 2-2 draw away to Kosovo. All of that ahead of the Nations League returning with us in Division C. And this is our group. Armenia, who will be our opponents today. We've also got Bulgaria and the aforementioned Kosovo. The friendly, of course, being arranged before the Nations League groups were drawn. So we'll see what we can do. The board, or oh, the FA, I keep calling them the board in the international game. The FA want us to fight bravely against relegation. I don't think promotions on the cards, that's Bulgaria's, but, you know, we've got to see. Can we finish second or third? And today's game will go a long way towards telling us that Armenia are favourites for this one, but we've got odds of 12 to 5. We'll take that. So this is our lineup for today. We're going with our balanced mentality. So we've got Alvarez in goal, Alavedra, who's... Uh, who's out on loan from FC Andorra at the moment, and Jovera in the centre, Ruben Perez and Hernandez, FC Andorra, first team player. We've got La Liga players in this side. Come on. Reves, Alonso and Cano in the middle of the park. We've got Castro on the right, Perez on the left, Zarzana up front. Let's see what we can do. All right, let's show everyone what we're capable of. And, of course, we've got faith in them to do something here. We've got a lot of them motivated. They're all raring to go. Okay, and um, we're off. I guess Armenia, probably the weakest team in the group along with us. Um, but Armenia and Kosovo, when you look at the world rankings, they're on a similar level. Bulgaria head and shoulders above everyone else. But it's Armenia with the first chance tipped over by the keeper. We see there Bulgaria have already taken the lead against Kosovo. So this game is going to go a long way. It's going to be a bit of a yardstick for what we can expect from this qualifying campaign. Of course, after this we get the World Cup qualifying, so Nations League I don't think plays into that at all. Um, in a way, relegation wouldn't be the end of the world, because then ahead of the next round of European Championship qualifying, we'd be down in Division D with a good chance of winning the group again. But here we go with Armenia. Good play from them. Good quick counter-attack. But the shot goes wide. We're building patiently from the back. Um, ooh, nice ball out to Perez. He's got Hernandez on the overlap, who cuts it back inside. Interesting. We tried to switch the flanks, but it doesn't work. And we've only succeeded in giving the ball away. And now Armenia. Oh, way too much space there for Lucho. The Luchador smacks one in he should be wearing a mask and we're getting to half time now with a second chance for them but it was ah, we've given away a penalty i thought we'd won a free kick we've actually given away a penalty one of those frustrating things where you think we just need to get to half time and if it's only one nil we can do something we can make some changes and now i mean you're a two nil up not good Oh, my centre-backs are both having a decent game, but everyone else is around that 6.4, 6.5 level. We've got to kick on in the second half. Again, we get highlights starting with us playing it out of defence. Let's see how far we can go without giving the ball away this time. Castro bringing it central. Nice play from him into Carno. Beautiful ball out to Perez. He's got the chance to cross something in, but he can't do it. And here comes the break. Perez, of all players... He's the best player in the squad. He should have been able... Oof, luckily they miss. He should have been able to supply Zarzana with a decent cross there. All right, making a substitution. Castro's picked up a knock. So we're going to take him off. It says he had an arm injury. So he could play on, but we might as well give Gonzalez the game time. Also going to bring on Gomez, our 
star player from Andorra. One little bit of transfer news with him. I wouldn't normally go into FC Andorra business on an international episode, but Atletico Madrid tried to activate his release clause on deadline day. He had a £3.5 million release clause. They swooped in for him. So we just went straight out there, offered him a new contract, which luckily he accepted, choosing us over Atletico Madrid. So um, I like him even more now. Right, here we go. We've got a chance. Hernandez got the ball. He whips in the cross and the header from Cano just goes over the bar. That's our best chance so far, we've got to say. All right, another throw in for us this time on the right. Dangerous position though. Armenia are pressing us with their three strikers up front there. Overpowered tactic. But we've got it out to Hernandez. That's where we need to go. Down the left. Long ball up to Zazana. Zazana can't hit the target. All right, final 10 minutes. Can we salvage anything or is this going to be a bit of a waste of an episode? Perez. Oh, we've got something. Gomez with his first goal for Andorra right at the death. Oh, he sprints back with it. It's, it was Perez who whipped that in. Gomez, the goalkeeper made a hash of it. Gomez, free header at the back post. Right then, you know what we do here. We just go all out. So, very attacking. We need to make a substitution, I think. Right, so Lega comes on for Canes, because Lega can play, can play up front. So we're going to put him on attack. We're going to put Alonso also on attack. Right then, so we're pushing right up. We're going to do long balls over the top of defence. We'll put on counter press as well. We want early crosses, shoot on sight, everything, all out attack. Let's see if it does anything for us. And we'll just add in a push forward here as well. And then let's see if we're probably just not going to get any more highlights. Well, there you go. At least we made a match of it in the end. I think we were better in the second half. A few tactical tweaks at half time did the trick. The team talk obviously did the trick. It was fairly even in the end. On another day, we could have sneaked a point, I think. Yep, you gave it your best effort, lads. I would be pretty hopeful now for the return tie back in Andorra de la Vela. Oh, Armenia win battle of a very long name stadium. Well, bit of a shock if you ask me. In the other game, Kosovo came from behind to beat Bulgaria. So maybe Bulgaria are not favourites for this one after all. So just looking at the Andorra schedule for now, we've got Bulgaria coming up in a few days. But I'm going to play the next few games off camera, probably internationally. We'll come back for those final two games of the group, Kosovo-Bulgaria. I have a feeling they'll be crucial in determining our fight against relegation. It means I'm going to be bringing you all the away games in this particular round of the Nations League. But... You know, that's just the way the fixtures have fallen. We will try to fit in an FC Andorra episode in between so I can get you up to date on how life in the Liga has been going so far. We will leave that for episode 49. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like button if you've enjoyed today's quick episode. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm Dodgy Gamer, and I'll see you again soon.